Well, thankfully, no one was hurt, but rescue crews say these brothers did the right thing when they realized that they couldn't get out of the dam and they called for help. Trapped far below the railing of the Huffman Dam, Brandon Hardy waits for help. He and his brother had been testing out new repelling equipment. His brothers worked, and he was able to ascend from the bottom of the dam. But somehow, Brandon Hardy's equipment malfunctioned, and he had no way of getting out. So the brothers called for help, and a rescue team from Five Rivers Metro Parks went to work. We trained, we trained lots of hours just for this kind of rescue, and it, uh, it appears sometimes to go very slow, but it's very methodical, and we, uh, we watch out for our safety and the safety of the folks we're attempting the rescue on. The team first puts a member down below, dangling him above the water, hanging by a harness from a single rope. When he reaches the bottom, he hooks the rescue line to Brandon Hardy, and slowly, a fire truck parked on the road above pulls Hardy to safety. Our crew uh, was able to do what we do very well. The rescue took about an hour and a half, and Hardy says with all that time to think down below, he learned a lesson. We were trying new equipment out, and my brother tested it. I didn't. Should have listened to him. I'm thankful to him. Well, we should say that Fairborn Fire and Rescue took charge of that rescue. Now, I'm told that the two men were cited for criminal trespassing because I'm told what they were doing there is illegal. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.